مدارس مودرن فيوتشر تتمنى لكم المزيد من النجاح والتفوق. Hello, our dear students. I'm Miss Marihan from Modern Future Line School. Today we will talk about another tense, and actually there are two tenses, which is present continuous and present continuous in the future. Present continuous that four primary one, two, three. Pa, present continuous in the future, four primary five. Okay. First of all, if you're going to study any tense, you have to know three things. When you can use it, the form of the tense and your keywords. And we will take it together. Here, present continuous. We use it to talk about activities at the moment of speak. So, I'm speaking now and you are watching me. You are listening to me. So, we use the present continuous to talk about actions or activities we did it now. Okay, that's about the use. What about the form of the present continuous? We have am, is, are, verb to be at the present, plus verb, plus ing. So, you will remember the present continuous with ing. Let's remember together. We said that the present sample, you will remember it with S or no S. And the past, you will remember it with D, E, D, I, E, D. But the present continuous, you will remember it with I, N, G. And before I, N, G, you have to put M is R. So that's about the four of the present continuous. Number three, the keywords. And we said the keywords that the words when you saw it in your sentence, you know what can you use. But the form you must to write. Okay? Keywords for the present continuous like now. Look, listen, at the moment, at the moment equal now, and look and listen. Okay, let's have an example. I'm watching TV now. Look here. I watch the verb ing, and we have now the keywords. So that's an affirmative form. Okay, I wanted to change it into negative form. Where is the verb here? You have am. And we said that if you wanted to put not, you will put it after verb to be or before verb to be. You will put it after verb to be. So you will write it like that. I am not watching. TV now. That's all. So if you wanted to make it negative, just you will put not. Okay, that's about the negative. What about the question? What about that question? Look at this sentence. You have here at the beginning, I am. Okay, I am at the sentence will be, are you? And the question, and we said before, again, I am, at the sentence, will be, are you, at the question, okay, are you, are you, watching TV, now, and don't forget your question mark, because it's a question, and you write it, capital, at the first, okay, I want to answer, are you watching TV now? Are you watching me now? So you will answer with yes or no. But why? Why you should answer with yes or no? Because remember, we said that here you have R and R from the.
مدارس مودرن فيوتشر تتمنى لكم مزيدا من النجاح والتفوق and R from the helping verb and you have when you have any question start with the helping verb you have to answer with yes or no and when you answer with yes or no you have to write short answer so I will do that two circles and two cross as we usual are you at the question will return back to I am and the answer yes I am no will be no I am no and remember with no you have to put not okay that's all the present continuous when you can use it and the four and your keywords that's about affirmative form negative form question form okay let's look at the present continuous top in the future how can present continuous in the future yes so if you want to talk about your future plans your arrangement things that you write it in your notes future plans or arrangement any action you will do in the future you will use also the present continuous the same form FSR plus verb plus ing and you will know it from the keywords here you will use the keywords of the future you will use the keywords of the future like what like next tomorrow soon tonight again next tomorrow soon tonight so the two tenths are the same form but they are different in the keywords they are different in the keywords okay she is traveling to london tomorrow look here we write s travel verb ing the same form but here we have tomorrow and tomorrow from the keywords of the future so we know that that sense is present continuous in the future okay it's an affirmative form i wanted to change it into negative form what can we do here we have s so we will put not she isn't traveling and write your sentence she isn't traveling to london tomorrow what about the question oh look here i will start with as it's an unhelping verb as after as you will put the subject she as she traveling to london tomorrow and don't forget your question mark and here you have to know that you have to write london capital letter london it's a place so it's from the proper noun and you have to write it capital letter okay is she traveling to london tomorrow and you will answer with yes or no do your circles and cross yes she yes and no she isn't look here traveling you have the verb like that travel that's right why here i write double l because here you have a vowel before 
the end letter. So you will write it double. Another example. Okay, you have a verb like run. Here, if you want to put ing, look here, you have u and u from the vowel letters. So you will put, you will write n double double n. So I will write it like r u double n ing running. Okay, if you have a verb ends with e, like. To put your ing, you have to cross the e and write your ing. So you have to know if you have a verb ends with e, you have to cross it and write your ing. If you have a verb ends with a vowel before the last letter, you have to write it double. So, we talk about the present simple when we can use it, the form and the keywords. The present simple in the future, also the, use, the usage, the form and your keywords. I hope that you enjoyed our time with us. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, write your comment below and see you later. مدارس مدرن فيوتشر تتمنى لكم مزيدا من النجاح والتفوق